Hi, on today's Crochet Corner, we're going to talk about chevron or wavy stitch patterns. On this beautiful afghan, uh, we use a chevron stitch pattern that gives you these beautiful stripe, uh, waves and stripes. And the yarn that we use is a machine washable and dryable nylon and acrylic blend. I happen to like the tweedy texture in here. I think it really softens up the stripes very nicely. The pattern also uses one row of each stripe of the yarn, which means you have to fasten off and cut the yarn in between each row. And that also give, uh, offers you another technique to learn for changing color at the end of a row. And that's one of the things I'm going to show you on the swatch today. First, I wanted to point out that when you finish the end of the last row you've worked and you're on the, the last stitch of that given color, you're going to wait. Uh, you're not going to finish the last step of the stitch, which on this double crochet would be to yarn over and pull through two. And what you'll do is do that very last step of the last stitch with your new color that's going to be worked on the on the coming row. So we're going to pull through two, and you'll see that gives you that top stitch that you need for that double crochet, but gives you the yarn ready to go for the next stitch on the next row. So we'll chain three, which counts as your double crochet on the next row, and I'm going to flip this over because now we're turning to work the next row. And I'm tightening up here. Eventually you'll tie this off and fasten it and weave the loose end in, but for now it's okay to just make it a little snug. And we'll start with doing a beginning uh, decrease. That's how actually how you make this type of a wavy stitch pattern. You're doing decreases and then offsetting it from the increases with a section of even stitch work. So we do a decrease, even stitches, and then increase, and then repeat that across. And now for a beginning and end, you do half a decrease, and I'm going to show you how to do that on this one. The half decrease for this particular pattern is a cluster of three double crochets. So we're going to yarn over, insert your hook in the next stitch, pull up a loop, pull through two, and then yarn over, insert your hook in the next stitch, pull up, pull through two, and then yarn over, insert your hook in the next stitch, pull up and pull through two. Now when you have three double crochets half begun and four loops on your hook, you're going to yarn over and pull through all four loops. And there's your beginning cluster. Then we're going to double crochet one stitch into each of the next nine stitches. And that's your even section. And we already know how to double crochet, so I'm just going to go a little quickly along that one so I can show you how to do the increase at the top of the next corner which is the top peak of the wave. And you'll start to recognize that even when you're doing the pattern, you won't have to really count all the time along here because you'll see that when you get to the top of that peak, you'll see you have the five there, and then there is the first one, the second one, the third of the five is where you'll work. And uh, so we'll do five stitches in there. One, two, three, four, and five. And there's your peak or your increase section. You'll do the straight uh, stitches here, and then you're going to do that same decrease like you did at the beginning, only do it over five stitches instead of three. So you'll pick up and do a half of a stitch in each of these five, and then pull through all six loops on the hook. And that's what you'll do across the whole row, and then fasten off and start your next color. And that's today's Crochet Corner. Knitting Daily. Make time for yarn every day. Visit KnittingDailyTV.com for free access to all of the project instructions, ideas, tips, and techniques from this season of Knitting Daily.